Hi, I'm Dr. Mirinveed Singh. I'm an emergency medicine specialist here in the UK. Today we're going to be looking at what happens when you ingest one of these. These are batteries. Now, in particular, we're going to be looking at this, a button battery. One of these can be ridiculously dangerous. So rather than talking, I'm going to show you an experiment. We need one of these, pieces of meat, and finally, the button battery. Throw one on top of the other and just leave it be. Already within two minutes you can see that it's starting to cause damage and further damage keeps occurring as each minute passes by. This is why it's an emergency, this is why it's dangerous and if a child swallows a battery you take them straight to the emergency department. Don't give them any food or drink because if they were to vomit this could cause further damage by increasing the reaction with the battery. The damage from the battery occurs because of the charge and also because the battery mixes with the juices in the stomach causing further reactions to take place. Thirdly you also have the components of the battery itself that will start to leak. You've already seen it there that easily within a few minutes it's causing damage. After one hour even more damage has taken place and within two hours the battery would have gone completely through the lining of the esophagus or the stomach. The esophagus is also known as the food pipe. If the battery were to be lodged in the windpipe known as the trachea it would also perforate through there. There are major structures lying within the mediastinum known as the middle part of the chest. You have the windpipe, the food pipe and there's the heart that lies behind there with major blood vessels. Not not only could this cause a problem with the airway and breathing, there could also be a serious major problem with major bleeding. When brought to the hospital, we will conduct x-rays, potentially even CT scans, but essentially whoever has swallowed the battery will be taken for an operation so that the battery can be removed and the extent of the damage can be assessed. And hopefully, if only minimal damage has been done, there will be a good outcome. Now, unfortunately, too many children, as well as adults, who swallow these types of batteries are ending up with severe complications. And because it is life-threatening, people are still losing their lives. So remember, if you notice someone who is still coughing, choking, or potentially in pain in their throat or their chest, and they can't tell you what has been swallowed, then the most important thing is you bring them to the hospital, you bring them so an emergency medicine physician like myself can assess them and that we make the right diagnosis and if it is a battery then we can get the correct team involved and we can remove the battery and prevent any serious consequences from happening. I hope you enjoyed that video, I hope it was informative. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Comment down below and tell me what you think about it and any of the thoughts that you may have. And remember, keep safe, keep well and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.